it exploded. We could hear a gentleman over there going, oh my God, oh my God. Bentley Chase has been living in this community near Nellis and Lake Mead for more than a year. And we've constantly had a cycle of homeless people coming in and out, living in and out the trailers. Um, they've been cooking meth. So he says when he saw flames and smoke pouring from the vacant lot behind his building, he wasn't surprised. He tells News 3 he and other residents have been complaining about the steady flow of homeless people living in those trailers for quite some time. This is what we have now. You know, it was a little bit too late. The Clark County Fire Department says right now they can't confirm whether or not squatters actually started the fire, but... It is possible. Um, they do find shelter when it gets colder. Chase says this fire came way too close to spreading to his home and something needs to be done to stop these squatters from returning. Because I think it's getting pushed off because it is the east side of town. Well, if you want it to change and be a better place, we need more help. Who should they call? Who's accountable for kind of maintaining that to make sure this doesn't happen? Uh, I, I would say call Metro. Call Metro and explain to them what your concerns are and uh, let, them, let them handle that. But Chase says they've tried everything from calling the cops and the county to painting no trespassing signs so people would stop jumping over their walls to get into the lot. But nothing's changed. But who do you think needs to be held accountable for this? The property owner does. He's had multiple complaints according to code enforcement. The police have been there numerous times. We've notified him numerous times. Yeah, and that fire broke out right behind the wall that you see here uh, in the background. Uh, now, we did try to reach out to the property owner, but we didn't have any luck yet uh, getting in contact with them. The good news here is that that fire did not spread to any other homes. Firefighters were able to get it under control and no one was injured. I'm reporting live. Gabby Hart, News 3. All right, Gabby.